Okay guys, I am here at an auction today. We are going to walk over. We're gonna check out and see what kind of neat stuff they got. Um, I've already been over there. They've got a few interesting things. Here's a pretty decent crowd, but in the basement there is a Haro bicycle. And I'm hoping I can pick that up cheap. As you guys know, one of the things that I like to collect are bicycles. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to pick up that bike pretty cheap. And uh, there's a couple of other things. So let's go check it out real quick. Okay guys, here we are. There's a bunch of furniture here. There's some little chairs and stuff. Neat old cast iron cook stove for like outdoors, old camping stove. This is really neat too. I love this old weather vane. That's got some good age on it too. These people had good taste in antiques. Um, I like this here. It's some kind of little pedestal. It looks like mushrooms or something. Here we go. Here is a really cool bunk board off of an old buggy. That's really cool. I've owned a couple of those, but they get pretty, they're getting pretty rare. <clears throat> and of course, here's your old, old plow. Here are some old watering cans, but you get a little bit of a gift with them. There's a bunch of cigarette butts in there that you can kind of see. Uh, this is really neat here. This is an old Griswold number no. eight cast iron uh, waffle maker. But the neat thing about this one is that it has the larger base to it. And that makes this pretty rare. It's probably worth about $250 to $280 in the shape that it's in. And I love it. I'm going to try to buy it. If I can't buy it, I am going to make somebody else pay for it. So that's a pretty cool item. I've got several nail kegs here. These are really cool. Um, I sell a lot of these at the store. Uh, these here are a little loose, a little wobbly. That one's really cool, though. Um, it used to be an old cask for probably liquor or something like that. Kind of cool. Several old uh, soda crates here. This one here is actually from Fly River, Missouri. You can see it right there. Um, a lot of times you'll find the local advertisement. It sells really well, so always be on the lookout for that stuff. Then we've got several boxes here of just random stuff. Um, that kind of stuff. Copper pans. Here's an old, looks like an old uh, pot for canning, but it's missing the guts inside. Here's a, some old tools. Old hammers, you always want to be on the lookout for these old hammers. Sometimes these names are uh, really, uh, they really can make them valuable. Um, you'll have to do your research to figure out which ones those are. Um, I don't do a lot of tools, so it's not my area of expertise, so I'm not going to really talk a lot about it. This is kind of cool. Xbox 360 controller. I don't know if it's in there or not. <clears throat> Here we go. More canning jars, more random household stuff more jars neat old what looks like a coffee jar that is awesome that's got a good look to it you always want to check these boxes really good when you go to auction because sometimes there are people that go to auctions that are not honest and they will pack these boxes full of stuff that they want so that's one thing that I always look for is I dig down into the boxes and see what's there. And as they get closer to selling um, that box, I'll look back in there again and see if anyone has uh, kind of put stuff in there to make it a little bit sweeter for them. <clears throat> nice little BB gun. That's kind of cool. Big old saw. <clears throat> Here's the yoke for a bell, but I don't see the bell anywhere. That can be worth good money itself. Uh, cast iron stuff always sells really well. Um, if you're definitely out and about and you see stuff like that, be sure to pick it up. <clears throat> Here's an old, what looks like to be a coffee mill. Put your coffee in the top there and then that would spin. And then your coffee would come out here in the bottom. Kind of cool. This is an old coffee or an old uh, tea kettle. It's cool, but man, it's really rusty inside. There's a nice Kirby vacuum with a ton of attachments here. If that don't sell too much, I'm going to try to pick it up. All of these attachments you can piece out and sell. 
um, and you can sell the lower parts of this you can sell the arm of the vacuum cleaner the bag will sell separately kind of cool uh, nice wicker here <clears throat> it's in really good shape too they say this is what's going to be the next trend is the wicker furniture it's going to come back and people are really starting to buy a lot of this stuff this is a really neat little bench here. I love the ornate legs on it. It's really pretty. Nice little prayer bench or sitting bench. This is an awesome old bin. Look at that. It's got a pair of old Adidas shoes in there and some floor mats. These are some nasty looking shoes. Some beautiful pieces of little glass here. This is a, it looks like stars. They have one called moon and stars, but that just looks like it's got the star pattern on it. And a uh, beautiful little tumbler, a little toothpick holder, creamer and sugar here. And this beautiful carnival glass. That is super nice. A nice little advertisement tin here. Black cat tobacco. That's really, really old, kind of cool. I like this sign here, this Miller Lite sign. It's Steve's Gas and Liquor. It's kind of cool. That will probably sell pretty good though. It's new. It's not really old. Probably at least from the 90s, probably early 2000s. Kind of cool. <clears throat> Neat old little box. These sell really well. If you ever see these while you're out and about, people love little boxes to put stuff in. But this one's pretty old. Uh, but it does have some damage this one here is missing the bottom and uh, probably going to be more just for looks than anything a little biscuit box a little bread box kind of cool. <clears throat> here is a really neat old candy mold it's kind of cool these typically uh, bring decent money i don't know what kind of candy that would make but little chocolate candies or something like that it's really cool though Whole box full of uh, doorknobs here. I love these ornate doorknobs. They're so cool. These are porcelain, and of course, this is just some metal doorknob, but it's really ornate. Um, here's some glass doorknobs. This is an example of like a glass doorknob, and how you count these is you count the points on them. So if you're going to sell something like that, you want to count the points. The more points on a glass doorknob, the uh, more value that it actually has. I love this old wooden uh, little cupboard here. That thing's awesome. Got a, a big barrel here. And they've got a beautiful solid wood kitchen table and chairs. A little loose. A little loose. Gonna need a little work. But yeah, an old dry sink here. That's awesome. Love this stuff. Love it. All of the furniture downstairs is for sale, but I'm not really interested in much of that. Pool table's not for sale, but what I am interested in is this Haro bicycle here. This is what I want. This is what I want. I've always wanted a Haro. It's a 20 inch frame, but man, that's an awesome bike. That would be freaking awesome to own. I don't know exactly what it's worth. I can't find the exact model, but we're gonna find out today. We're gonna go outside and they're gonna be starting the auction in like five minutes, so let's get to it. There are some kicker stickers out of here. Um, there's an amp in here. Nice tote, should all sell together. Here's another box with a set of Pioneer. Looks like 12 inch subs. VCR! They sell pretty good too if you can find them and get them cheap. That's about it out here. Oh, and Miller Light. Five, seven, a half, five, eleven, seven, a half, and 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 a
My name's not Steve, so it won't work. Who's got my 100 on the clock? Who's got my 50? 25, 35, Hey Griswold. All right, on the Griswold. Fifty. Fifty. Seventy-five. Yeah. Now hundred. Seventy-five. to give one. One. Seventy-five. Eighty-five. Seventy-five. to give eighty-five. to give ninety-five. to give hundred. Hundred ten. Hundred twenty. Hundred thirty. Hundred thirty. Hundred forty. Forty. Hundred forty. Hundred thirty. Little bit now. Forty. Forty. Hundred fifty. Hundred fifty. Hundred sixty. Hundred seventy-one. Seventy. Seventy. Seventy-one. Sixty now. One seventy. Hundred sixty. Little bit now. Seventy. Seventy. Seventy-one. Sixty now. One. She's my one sixty. 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 170, 160 now, 70, 70, 70, 70, 160 now, 170, sold $160, number 84. There it is. So this is everything that I got today. I did get the Haro bike. I paid $10 for it, which is an extremely good deal. Um, I ended up getting all of these boxes full of goodies. Oops. Um, we'll go through all this stuff later when I get back to the store. Um... I did get this uh, tote here, the file cabinet here. It's full of miscellaneous stuff. I paid like seven bucks for it. Um, I got uh. some floor mats for cars. They sell pretty good. And then I got two Sonicare uh, toothbrush heads. I paid like two bucks for all that. And I got the shoe last year. That's kind of cool. I'll put a board, I'll put mount that to a board and put it in the store. Um, a fan. Some other stuff we'll get a better look at this when we get back i probably spent 200 bucks here today maybe a little bit more but we'll find out once i pay let me get this stuff loaded and i'll check back in with you guys okay guys so i am leaving the auction now i just helped my buddy who runs the auction pick up all the tables and the uh saw horses so he was by himself but uh it isn't very late it's like 1 30 or something like that and i've been here since 10 so uh what did i buy well i bought a bunch of stuff and we're probably going to put that all in a different video the things that i actually got we'll do like a auction haul video um but i got everything that you see in here and i paid like 174 dollars for everything so i filled my car for 174 bucks and that hutch or that not the hutch but the haro i mean that's worth everything that i paid and a little bit more so I'm not going to complain. It was a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you enjoy these auction videos and you want to see more, let me know. Comment down below and say, hey, do some more of these auction videos because this is pretty much all that I do during the summer to get product to sell on eBay. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. God bless you guys. Keep on digging. Keep on picking. And remember, the family that picks together sticks together. Good night.